Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Today, I have pulled from messages from your animal spirit guides, oracle cards from Stephen D. Farmer, and I have pulled the rattlesnake. The experiences you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. The foundation for compassion is an awareness that suffering is a natural part of life. Whether through empathetic appreciation of another being's pain or the experience of having suffered oneself. And which beings haven't at times felt pain or sorrow that is an aspect of living on this planet. The deeper you go into the soul of another, the more you can feel what they feel, yet paradoxically maintain a certain distance or objectivity. A true healer must heal from the heart, no matter what technical, technological, logistical, physical, or shamanic tools they use. The experiences that you're going through now, or have just completed, are all a preparation for you to open your heart to the suffering around you and do your part in alleviating it. You'll find that you're increasingly being asked to offer your time and energy to help heal others, including not only people, but also animals, planet beings, tree people, and ultimately, Earth Mother. Some of this healing power will also go to mend the rifts that exist between races, ethnicities, and other species. You'll notice more and more how often your hands will spontaneously feel energized, experiencing it as heat or a tingling sensation. This is a power of spirit working through you. Allow it to guide you in whatever the focus of your healing is whether simply placing a hand on the shoulder of a friend or more extensively and directly involving yourself in another being's health. Some of our associations are initiation, healing, respect, transformation, resurrection, shedding, detachment, death and rebirth, sexuality, renewal, transmutation, clairsentience, agility, wisdom, creativity, and primal energy. There's been a lot of energy shifts going on lately. We've all, many, many people by the day, more and more noticing the energies kind of changing within themselves and they're in, in the air and in the universe, right? And this is all just kind of our initiation into our purposes, into our enlightenment, into our growth into a new understanding of who and what we are. It's a beautiful thing. Pain sucks and it's hard to go through these difficult times. But when we can get through them with that remembrance of what they really are, a new level, a new experience, a new lesson, it makes it much easier to be grateful for these difficult times. Mm -hmm. With that, I leave you and I love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Mwah.